Sorry, I haven't been uploading as much real or new content as usually. Um, I'm just as disappointed as you guys because I was kind of on a bit of a hot streak after that Madness Combat video and my views for the Pokemon videos were kind of bouncing back a little bit. But, you know, work and taxes. I'm, I need to do my taxes. I need to finish that before time limits up there. With work, um, some of my coworkers are, you know, they're going for surgery, so I just ended up picking up a lot more hours. Hopefully, um, hopefully I can get a new place soon. Maybe not in this economy, but I might end up, you know, paying rent. I don't know what, what's going to happen. Uh, there might be a few cool openings and opportunities that I'll hop on. But in terms of this update video, this is the probably the first update update video I've made. I've talked about it on social media a lot. If you want, like, once again, if you want to talk to me personally, Discord, Twitter, and I'm working on stuff like Instagram and TikTok, trying to keep those, trying to get those and I proper identity, you know? Um, I think it's going to be more art on Insta and I guess short tour short form content on tiktok if that's still around in the next year um bleh. um so in terms of what's next if you are seeing this video in your subscriptions please do click the bell i know it's annoying to tell people all the time but especially important now i'm looking at my statistics and Basically 5% of the people who are sub to me, or actually less, they end up getting notified, which is kind of, well, first of all, what's the point of subscribers if you aren't subscribed, in essence, because that's what's going on. Um, you'll actually get notified of stuff coming your way when that happens, um, but another thing I want to mention, something else that's a bit more important um for you guys is what my schedule is coming up what am i planning on doing next so i was gonna basically have my last pilot review for a little while be the port by the sea one uh it's it's kind of a pretty it was gonna be more based on entertainment and i'm gonna be shifting my content to less analytical and more just to be funny more entertaining I think that would be a good direction to choose for my content, honestly. That would make things a lot easier for everyone. I mean, the Space King video had really good watch retention. People seem to really like that one. I might end up revisiting that in the future, too. A lot of pilots are just coming out faster than I can keep up. Because now I want to do a Ramshackle video soon. And that has even more entertainment potential. That's a that's a hilarious pilot. And uh, what else is there? I also discovered this weird... I finally figured out this weird thing that keeps trending on like shorts and TikTok called like fundamental paper education or something. Which is like this baldy song that got turned into some OC uh, edgy but kind of cool looking style paper thing that has some interesting potential that might just be like straight up video analysis of like how did they get popular and I'd approach it in a much less oh let me educate you let me educate you heathens and I'm just going to be very blunt my approach is going to be a very blunt education it's going to be very straightforward I'm going to just try to communicate things properly with the audience I'm not going to pretend I'm above them and really analyze things more than they need to be. If something has a simple answer, I'm going to give it to you. That's something I don't like with a lot of video analysis or video analysis. There's a lot of padding. They try overcomplicating things. And I watch like the, I watch 10 minutes and I realize, oh, you just over explained a sentence long explanation for no reason. You just wasted my time. So I don't like it when people do that, so I'm going to, you know, do it the right way. I'm going to do it in a very direct way, unlike this update video, of course. Um, 
Another thing is, if anyone is, finds a video editor, I mean, a job, please send me any video editing applications from YouTubers. If anyone's looking for something, I mean, the background footage is like actual quality video editing I've done. Obviously, I don't have any time to edit this one because my current week's hours are pretty bad, but I'm going to be... Sh probably shifting from this job pretty soon so if i can get like a full-time gig as a video editor just that would be that would be ballin that would be amazing that would be so cool that'd be epic delicious and nutritious and also if anyone has any advice for either video editing or youtubing just let me know because i mean it's funny because online it's like the internet's run by irony when people don't want to be criticized they get a lot of criticism they get a lot of engagement and they cry but when you're reaching out and you're like hey please for the love of god give me some advice it's pretty tough to get people to give you advice you know so if you find anyone if you find any issues with my videos if you have any advice just let me know any advice with my editing there are some things I know I've messed up that might be screwing my channel permanently. Um, the biggest thing is everyone is consistency. I've seen it happen with my channel multiple times. Basically, I miss a Friday upload once and my channel's fucked. And that's apparently a rule, like an unspoken rule on YouTube, which is really unfortunate because it's like... It's kind of a catch-22 if you have a life because <laughs> it's like oh no i missed what i missed a day oh no like that's not fair that is not fair but whatever uh ha, ha, ha. what else what else um hmm. oh yeah so some of the stuff i've been promising earlier like velma or puss and boots revisits that's gonna take a while. So is that big has been video. That one, that one could take a real long time. I want that one to be as high quality as humanly possible. Um, it's basically gonna be a Max or style video. So that's gonna take forever. <laughs> yeah, sniffles in the weather, under the weather, something to tether, yada yada. Uh. Yeah, I want to do a little bit of focus on some, like, writing analysis. Like, actually talk about what I've learned. Tell people what they should learn. Advice, stuff I see online. Even, like, sometimes it's, like, criticism. Even when it gets, like, so annoyingly pervasive that you're, like, just kind of sick of hearing it, like... If you remember 2018 with the Steven Universe stuff, like, and it was just no one shut up about, even if there's some good advice there, um, that I personally learned from, like, when it comes to handling redemption arcs, uh, also, I mean, I've never seen these movies because I'm always told they're bad, but then I'm just confused because... Everyone always references the Star Wars sequels and how bad they are to the point where I'm watching an unrelated review. They bring that up. I'm just confused. It's like, do I seriously need to watch these things? You keep telling me not to support just to understand your point. But that being said, there's like some really good stuff I've learned from some of the criticism. Like, I think a big one is I'm starting to really understand and appreciate just when it comes to time skips with characters and making them cynical like sure it can be realistic but the point of an arc is that you see the arc progress so i so stuff like with luke skywalker becoming cynical for weak reasons i'm learning like stuff like that for example like a proper way to approach it is to either show their entire journey or another thing is whatever strengths they learned, whatever lessons they learned with sequels, go, taking that strength they learned and kind of flanderizing it a bit too far could be the premise for a new arc. That doesn't always work, but it's a bit better than just 
an uncharacteristic and unjustified U-turn, for example. So there's a lot of stuff I still have planned for this channel. Um, oh yeah, and also I need to work on Gen 2 for Pokemon soon. So, oh, and one more thing. I need another... Oh god, what is it? Two and a half thou like 1.5 thousand hours in the next two months of watch time to get monetized properly that's scary it's actually really scary oh god i can barely get 500 all right well wish me luck there um not as well structured as i wanted but i didn't really have time if you like animation sub allocations yeah